Hi there. Thank you for joining me on Reading with Miss Jess. Today's story is Hattie Harmony, Worry Detective. Written by Elizabeth Olson and Robbie Arnett. Illustrated by Marissa Valdez. The first day of school had finally arrived. Some kids were excited and a little worried. Luckily, Wildwood Elementary had Hattie Harmony, Worry Detective. Hattie had many tools up her sleeve and she was ready to get to work. Hattie Harmony, Worry Detective, how can I help solve your worries today? Hattie, it's Pearl Peppercorn. I'm terribly worried about my first day of school. I have nervous bird of butterflies flying all around my belly. What if no one plays with me at recess? What if I don't make any new friends? Hattie put on her trusty worry detective tool belt. Don't you worry, she said. Meet me at the flagpole in front of school. I'll be there just as soon as you can say, worry, worry, go away. There's no time for you today. It sounded like a case of first day jitters. As soon as she saw Pearl, Hattie pulled out two big nets. Hattie gave one net to Pearl and kept the other for herself. Pearl was confused. The butterflies aren't outside, Pearl said. They're inside my belly. But Hattie was already swinging her net. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. The butterflies danced with the birds boogied with the bees, slept in the grass, and even climbed up the trees. Pearl and Hattie were having so much fun catching and releasing the butterflies that suddenly Pearl realized, wait a minute, Pearl said as she rubbed her belly. I don't feel the butterflies anymore. Hooray! That's right, said Hattie. If we focus on your movement and try to live in the moment, our worries can fly away. With Hattie's help, Pearl was now ready to start her first day of school. Thank you, Hattie Harmony, Pearl said. The school bell rang. Just as soon as Hattie sat down at her table, her friend Seymour Swiggletooth scooted right next to her. Psst! Hattie, I don't know what I'll do if Mrs. Rivers calls on me, whispered Seymour. What if I don't know the answer? What if I have to stand up in front of the whole entire class? Oh, Hattie, my legs feel like jello. Don't you worry, Hattie said. I'll find the right tool just as soon as you can say. Worry, worry, go away. There's no time for you today. Hattie searched her trusty worry detective tool belt. Aha! She knew just what she needed to solve this case. In a flash, she pulled out one of her favorite tools. Squishy ball! What? This is an emergency, Seymour squealed. I don't have any time to play with a ball. Oh, but this ball is special said Hattie. Go ahead, give it a squeeze. Seymour squeezed and he squeezed and he squeezed. It's working, Seymour cheered. I don't feel so tense. But how did you do it? You did it, Hattie said. By tensing other muscles and squeezing squishy ball, you told your worried mind to relax and take a break. Thank you, Hattie. Now I'm ready to raise my hand in class, said Seymour. Can I keep it? It's yours, Hattie said. Recess was finally here. Hattie and Pearl played one of their favorite games, tag. Hattie chased Pearl through the playground around the swings and up the slide. 
come and get me, Pearl shouted, but Hattie was worried. She had never climbed to the top of the big slide before. What if I slide too fast or what if I fall off? What if I don't like it? Hattie asked. Hattie, you're the bravest person I know. You can do anything. Brave people don't always feel brave inside, Hattie whispered. I feel scared. Hattie searched her tool belt. In a flash, she pulled out Miss Mirror. Hattie saw fear in her eyes, but then she smiled and said to herself, I'm scared, but I can do it. Worry, worry, go away. There's no time for you today. Hattie, you did it, Pearl cheered. You conquered your fear. Even Hattie sometimes needed a reminder that having courage means facing our fears and pushing through them. The first day of school had come to an end. Duncan Delmar panicked as all the buses arrived at the pickup zone. There were so many. A bus over here, a bus over there, a bus over here, a bus over there. Help! I can't remember which is mine. My heart is racing. How will I ever get home? Said Duncan. Don't worry, said Hattie. We'll find your bus just as soon as you can say. Worry, worry, go away. There's no time for you today. Hattie searched through her trusty worry detective tool belt. She searched and searched, but then she realized, we don't need anything from my tool belt. We already have everything we need. We do? asked Duncan. You bet we do. One of our greatest tools is something we do all the time without even thinking about it. We breathe. Hattie shut her eyes and slowly breathed in through her nose. One, two, three, and slowly breathed out through her mouth. One, two, three, four. Now you try, Hattie said to Duncan. Duncan breathed in. One, two, three. Duncan breathed out. One, two, three, four. Wow, those breaths made my heart slow down. I can think more clearly now, said Duncan. And look, there's my bus. When we take a moment to breathe in and breathe out, we can slow down all of the racing thoughts in our mind, Hattie said. The first day of school was a blast, Pearl exclaimed. We learned so much, Hattie said. Sometimes our worries can seem bigger than they really are. But as long as we remember that our minds are very, very powerful, and now that we have the tools to practice, we can conquer anything. Oh, and one more thing, Hattie smiled. If you ever need me, you can always call your friend. Hattie Harmony, Worry Detective.